hello friends welcome to fm let course in this video i will show you about the hu so you can see here i am at site and uh, uh, this hu is uh, running and you can uh, see the easily uh, here uh, this exhaust and uh, from other side so you can see the construction of this uh, hu Uh, so actually my topic is on BMS. So here you can see these are some devices installed here. This is for temperature and uh, here you can see this side DPS switch you can see here. This for the air air flow. Air flow, we can get the difference here through this device. This is called manometer, and here you can see. This is the control box. Here, uh, power cable is coming for the motor running inside, and uh, you can see here. This device is uh, called temperature sensor. Through this, we can get the temperature. in the system in the computer so this is stalled hey, actually written this is two temperature and humidity both you can get the humidity and temperature reading from this device this device is connected to the vms and i will show you the ddc panel from where this cables are going uh so you can see easily how these are installed this hu works on the chilled water uh, it gets the air and the chilled water and through that uh, it combine and then it uh, create the cool air this the pressure gauge to get the reading of pressure of the water here also something are installed but this is not connected actually this provided for the damper but this is not connected here you can see this called a uh, uh, two way modulated uh, actuator this is a plating for this is this is controlling for uh, this uh, chilled water pipe here you can see here we have three type of cable i can show you first red and black is for the power for this motor actuator and other two cables one for the feedback status and the second for the command like uh, to start to stop as for the temperature requirement it will open the valve of this pipe so this hu looks like this uh, ducts are connected uh, this acd means supplied air diffuser this going uh, supply air uh, duct this going to the area where uh, it is serving so here you can see now i will uh, show the ddc panel bms panel so friends i have come to near the panel this is called bm uh, ddc panel or bms panel you can see so here you can see the ddc controllers these are the controller is controlling from the device and giving output to the computer computer software you can see so here how many are installed 1 2 3 four four controllers are installed this controller for the communication simply you can understand here each controller having some ports these are the relay ports you can see here relay outputs and uh, for this controller required power supply that is connected in the uh, first and second terminal of this you can see here same thing is for this one also but uh, here also you can see the some cables are connected in this port also 
and uh, this cable is uh, going to another uh, DDC panel actually these are uh, these all panels are in a loop in network loop so this having some cables universal input output so this is going to the field that I show you the temperature sensor the actuator uh, this all uh, is connected through this wire to this controller so this is very simple and uh, in the next video I will share the uh, drawing of uh, this one I think I have some drawing here ports are written here you can see RPC1 these are the ports and these are the numbers going to the field here here we have the drawing I will show you so friends I have opened this drawing here uh, what I was explaining this this, this is the controller I show, uh, show to you this one this is the controller I'm going to explain this controller having ports this one 9 19 20 21 22 23 here you can see 90 20 21 23 24 so this is here and in this port in these ports uh, we have connected this many devices in 19 port it is connected the con chilled water control valve and for the 20 we have used a 20 and 21 both we have used for the uh, feedback temperature sensor and for uh, humidity we have used 23 24 25 26 we have used for return air temperature return air humidity then 28 29 we have used and 30 tem room temperature and bag filter status so this very simple from the field devices we are connecting to these ports and here you can see here we have option for internet going to the main DDC panel here and uh, for this controller needs power supply so we can connect this terminal 1 and 2 here I will show you this 1 and 2 we have connected the power supply it's very simple and this internet for the communica communication with the another uh, panel the other side also we have some terminals this is for uh, start stop command this is all for the control here it is written relay output so relay we use for switching on off for any devices this was only for the input output but this one is for the relay outputs means through this we can control we can give command to the devices you can switch off so we can switch on so it's very simple for the BMS in the next video I will show you how to uh, do uh, operation in BMS software. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for watching this video.